In spite of a storm of opposition from church authorities and social elites, legions of Catholic women responded to the social and religious needs of 17th century Europe by becoming religious activists. They were especially numerous in France. Among them were the Sisters of St. Joseph, established at Le Puy around 1650. Like their sister communities, they appeared at a time when prevailing norms precluded almost any type of female leadership in the public sphere. Consequently, the six French Sisters of St. Joseph who disembarked in St. Louis, Missouri in 1836 brought with them almost two centuries of tradition and experience in education, health care, and social service. By the 21st century, Sisters of St. Joseph had educated, nursed, and cared for generations of Catholics in every part of the United States, while expanding their activities to six continents, creating a vast, expanding global ministry. This wall and archives document and preserve the heritage of the Sisters of St. Joseph, founders of Avila University almost a century ago. Dedicated in August 2014, the Heritage Wall and the Sister Martha Smith CSJ Archives and Research Center provide the anchor for the Huli Bunshu Library Learning Commons where they are housed. The archive's namesake, Sister Martha Smith, spent 30 years as a professor of history at Avila University. She entered the community of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet in 1947. After earning a doctorate in modern European history, becoming a Fulbright scholar and an award-winning teacher, she co-authored with Carol Coburn, Spirited Lives, How Nuns Shaped Catholic Culture and American Life, 1836 to 1920. She and Coburn also began the Women Religious Special Collection in 1997, and this is where she worked during the last years of her life. For visiting faculty, staff, students, or researchers, the spacious research and reading room in the archives honors Sister Martha's biological sister, Anne Smith Fritzlin, an Avila alum and active supporter and donor for over 50 years. The reading room is where researchers or anyone interested in our archival holdings would come to view materials. Typically, this process begins with a phone call or email to the archivist, requesting to view materials about a particular subject or collection. If a researcher decides they would like to view an archival collection or historical piece in person, they would then schedule an on-site visit. During the initial visit, researchers are given brief instructions on how to handle and work with historical materials. The processing room is essentially the place within the archives where we intake new materials and where most of the work to organize and process these materials is conducted. In this secure environment, we make certain that incoming collections are free of dangerous or bulky extraneous matter, such as metal fasteners, acidic or otherwise unstable or fragile containers, mold, and dampness. Steps may also be taken to rehouse and relabel materials in appropriate archival enclosures such as acid-free boxes and folders. The archivists also make sure all folders are clearly labeled and that containers of records, papers, and other materials show their proper location within the record groups or series. Archival materials are stored within our closed stacks, which provide a secure storage environment with climate-controlled humidity and temperature archival high-density compact shelving, and alkaline buffered containers. The archives is currently comprised of three collecting areas. The Women Religious Special Collections is intended as a repository for out-of-print and contemporary books, manuscripts, pamphlets, photographs, and other materials by, for, and about American sisters. The CSJ Heritage Center collections contain the records of the U.S. Federation of the Sisters of St. Joseph and the Avila University archival materials, which consists of a wide variety of primary source material that relates to all aspects of the history of Avila University, from its foundation in 1916 to the present day. Our Archives and Research Center collects, preserves, and shares rich primary source materials in support of engaged teaching, active student learning, and scholarly and community research. In an effort to make our materials more accessible to users, we do provide minimal scanning services on site for documents and photographic materials. Through the generous support of our donors, we have also worked with off-site digitization companies to have certain high-priority archival materials digitized. We are excited to offer access to these newly digitized materials through the Internet Archive 
an online digital repository. This heritage wall and archives honors the Sisters of St. Joseph, not just for their past courage and prophetic vision, but for their legacy of service as educators, healers, visionaries, activists, and mentors, working nationally and internationally in their areas of expertise. Their gifts are profound, and their service inspiring and encouraging to all of us. We know we have been given a great gift, a legacy beyond measure. We stand on the shoulders of the Sisters of St. Joseph, women who have shown us a path, a way of being in the world. In 1650, six young women in La Puy, France, courageously took their gifts into a risky world, a world often hostile to women's public endeavors. They made a difference, and almost four centuries later, they are still showing us the way. What will your legacy be?